Welcome to DB4 Studio for SQL Server Tutorials. These tutorials are created to show you the main features of the product and how to apply them in your daily work. For the sake of our tutorials we designed the demo case, which we will develop together with you. Here we have the company that has an electronic sales management system. But this system has a shortcoming. Specifically, while processing the order, the salesman must manually calculate the discounted price for each order position. And the sales department asks us to add an ability to manage discounts for different products from one place. And they also want discounts to be automatically taken into an account while calculating the order cost. To add these features into our sales management system, we need to modify the underlying database. That's when DB4 Studio appears on the scene. First, let's explore the database structure to define the points of change. I'll use database diagram for this purpose. I simply grab the tables and drop them into the diagram. Here we got our structure. We can easily zoom using the mouse and the control key. We can overview the database structure at a glance. You can see the tables connected with foreign key references. We are looking for sales order detail table. Here it is. You can see unit price discount field here and that's the main point of our change. But before introducing any changes to our database structure, I want to make a snapshot of its current state. A snapshot can be compared with present database structure to detect changes made by developers. Later I'll show you how it works. And now we are safe to modify our database. First, I will create the discount table. For now, I want it to have only four fields. Discount ID, description, start and end dates. Notice that designer automatically suggests int data type for ID field, so we don't have to change anything for now. We pick discount ID as a primary key. Notice that discount ID field automatically receives the identity flag. We can delete it right from the text, but let's leave it for now. We hit update database and our table is created. I will put it onto the diagram and save it for the future use. That's it for part 1. In the part 2 I'll show you how to modify the existing objects and how to deal with dependencies. Thank you for watching.